A moldy hotel in Grand Forks is making people sick. That's how a whistleblower described it to us. And it's not the first time this hotel owner has been in hot water and the property manager has conflicting statements. Valley News Team's Ryan Laughlin investigates whether dangerous hotel rooms were neglected in Grand Forks. I was basically, I was not breathing at all. A horror story at a hotel. He got me back to breathing and then I went to the hospital. Tiny Kiefer was staying at the Grand Forks Inn and Suites in Grand Forks back in July of 2016. She says dangerous mold caused her respiratory failure. If you see this place, you would say, why in the hell is it open? Kiefer sent us these pictures she says were from her hotel room. In an email from a state health officer, it said that she got a voicemail around 2.44 in the morning that someone was going to the hospital. Kiefer says that was her. Shortly after, an inspection led to a letter recommending that the owner at the time, Mr. Patel, cease operations because of extensive mold and electrical fire hazards have been inadequately addressed. The property managers, JLJ Management, operate a number of different hotels in Grand Forks and Fargo. They maintain that Kiefer's claims are false. Jeff Jasperson of JLJ Management said in an email the letter recommending the closure of the hotel happened before he was involved. However, health department records show that he was there during the inspection that led to the letter. Jasperson says he never got the letter from the county, and over time, various improvements have been worked on on behalf of the owner. Today at the Grand Forks Inn and Suites, the doors are locked, but it's only been for a couple of months. Management says the renovations are not related to health code violations, and Kiefer's claims came after a dispute over paying for her room. Jasperson says Kiefer couldn't provide proof that she ever went to the hospital, but she sent us documents saying that she was treated at all true. I came home after that and I've had nothing, but I, I'm sick constantly. Her concerns is that other people could be exposed to unsafe rooms. From Grand Forks, Ryan Laughlin, Valley News Live. Now the owner of the hotel at the time, Barat or Brian Patel, has a checkered past. Multiple reports say he had to settle a $184,000 lawsuit for back wages and damages to 200 of his employees at 15 hotels across Montana, Minnesota, and North Dakota. Attempts to reach Patel were unsuccessful.